we had by then been told we were canceled. Oh. Every day had been nominated for the daytime Emmy, but we had also been told we were canceled. So Group W said, you can go to New York. It was broadcast from New York that night, uh, if you want to, but it'll be on your own ticket. Well, John was busy with an acting gig, and I, just in case, I flew to New York, but as a courier, in those days you carried film overnight from the network in LA to the network in New York, and if you flew as a courier and brought the film in a bag, you got to fly for free. I flew as a courier. 1978, three years after I had been living high off the hog in New York City. Now I'm nobody. I'm turning up in town to be in the audience in case we win an Emmy for a now canceled show. I st th and the award ceremony happens to be at Lincoln Center, right across the street from my old apartment building. So in a moment of nostalgia, painful nostalgia, I crossed over the street and walked into the lobby of my old apartment building. And there behind the desk, the head bellman said, Hello, Miss Edwards, are you back with us? And I said a few words and walked out and bawled, sobbed all the way back across the street into Lincoln Center, got ready that afternoon to sit in the audience, listened as they announced the Phil Donahue show having won. And as we were all leaving, Phil Donahue and Marlo Thomas came up to me in the aisle and said, we were worried about you. We were worried. We thought maybe you'd bag this one. And I got on a plane at midnight, carried a fresh bag of film from New York back to LA, delivered it to ABC in the middle of the night, and limped home. 